Hey everybody, Pastor Ryan, the Roving Giant here. We're heading out on a hike in Letchworth Park again today. We're doing a section picking up where we left off last time. Got my buddy Pastor Todd here. Have to hike in a little ways to pick up where I left off last time. I'll show you on the map which way we're going. So last time we hiked from up in Mount Morris all along the trail past the Hogsback Overlook, which is right about there and hiked down to this point. I had it tagged on a picture that I took, but that's as far as we made it. Right now, we are parked here at this parking lot, and we're going to head back up to that spot so I can cover that ground. And then when we get back to here, we're gonna head over and check out this lean-to. If we have enough time after that much hiking, we're gonna continue down the trail and go to this parking lot. We've dropped a car here, uh, but we'll reevaluate once we get to the lean-to. just got started on the trail and the first thing that I run into is a, a briar bush and with these uh, down puffer jackets. Uh, I, I, this one, the first day that I got it, I went out for a hike and ended up getting holes in it and having to patch it up with tarp tape. So uh, I walked very slow through that stuff, but you got to keep an eye out. These things rip real easy. And now we are trying to cross a small lake. So wish us luck. to go to where your spot is, right? That makes sense. So, uh, everybody, we're at a trail junction. We got a double line, that means trail junction. So the trail heads this way, or the trail heads that way. We're just chatting. We're, this trail heads north, so we're gonna follow that so we can head up towards the, the point where I left off last time. And uh, we'll keep you posted as we go. This, my friends, is why we can't have nice things. hiking along. We just headed into a, a sprucey section of the forest. Been impressed. The last couple days have been, let's say, uh, in the upper 40s, lower 50s. It's been really warm. Things have been melting. It's been Everything's been wet. So we were expecting this trail to be soaked, but it hasn't been so far. I mean, there's been some wet spots like that puddle you saw us go through, but um, all in all, you see the trail's actually been pretty dry here, especially with all the pine duff on the ground been interesting. Here's mile 20 of the Finger Lakes Trail. It's weird to have me have to stand on my tiptoes for something. Else. I don't know if this will show up on video, but I want to see if uh, this, if you guys can see this. It's just pretty where we have just a nice view because there's no leaves at this time of year. We can see the see the whole gorge really well and it's just yeah and that's the genesee right yeah genesee so we came across some tracks what'd you say you think these are we came across a really cool overlook here check this out man this is a cool part Oh, you can see all 
the the rivers flowing down there. And that is that is really cool. Oh, check out the bird. Todd and I were talking about uh, white birch trees because there was a ton of white birch trees over by that lookout that we were just at. And um, it made me think of aspens because the, the difference is, to easily tell the difference from the bark is that the aspens have smooth white bark while the birch will have flaky bark that's coming off. When you're looking at an aspen, if you see a pile of aspens together, there, there's a reason because they all have a shared root structure. It's technically just one big tree with the same roots, but they pop up in a bunch of different spots. So it's just a really cool tree. But white birch are cool too because they make a, their bark makes the perfect tinder for getting your fires going. So, oh man, it's pretty snow. So we were hiking along and Todd noticed this. This is a big tree for a buck rubber here. I can't get my hands around it and look at the shreds on that. That was a nice buck right there that drove his antlers deep into that tree to get the velvet off back in the fall. We may have to come back here to hunt. <laughs> These beautiful lookouts just keep coming. and I were just chatting about uh, trail running and how it's really it's a lot better to just be out here in nature doing trail running than to be on a track it's just you get to be out here and experience it all but any trail runners out there who share an experience out on YouTube <laughs> let me know in the comments light snow coming down as we're hiking. I don't know if it's showing up on the video, it's real light, but it's pretty. And this is just a great section of the Finger Lakes Trail. We're almost to our turnaround, but not quite yet. It'll be probably another 10-15 minutes of hiking, but it's just a good area here. Big gorges and open hardwood. Forest. Looks like we're heading out to another view here. We just keep coming. Yeah, that looks like the most way, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you ready to walk out there? <laughs> well, I'd walk out to this, this edge. A lot of good views when you do it that way. Or I should when you do it that way, when God does it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to mile 21. Which I guess is uh it's 26 miles long, so we're uh five miles from where I started the other day. So <laughs> you know, how many miles we did? Uh I think I did a total of eight miles, eight and some change uh between coming down here and going all the way back. Yeah. So Hopefully it's not too much farther before our turnaround. We've made it to uh, the turnaround point, that arrow. That's where I was last time 
that came through. We will head back. Uh, we'll probably find a spot to stop and grab a bite to eat and we'll bring you along in that process too, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna turn around. We've, we've officially covered this section. to our turnaround here and making our way up this hill. I had uh, set the trash down so uh, I'd remember to grab it on the way back through. Got to pick up after people who don't know how to respect the trail. Get that fall? I'm sure I did. <laughs> we got to make sure we embarrass Todd on this video some way. So. Have, have a good moment of levity here where it goes in the water. <laughs> Out. Sun's out, fun's out. Or what's it? Sun's out, guns out. We gotta pull out the shirts. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the temperature rose big time when that sun came out. Looking at our, our list of mileage, see 6.7 access D, Smoky Hollow uh, area. Um, that is where we parked. So from, from the road to the shelter is 7.6 miles. Or sorry, 1.1 miles it's to the 7. So 1.1 miles from there. We went 15 minutes worth of walking from there. So I would guess it's probably another like it's point little two. over three quarters of a mile. It's nine tenths. Nine tenths. It says 0.2 miles to this point, I think. Ah, there the you shoulder. go. The Blue Access yep. Trail goes left 0.2 miles to shoulder and parking on River Road. So that's where we parked. So we got 0.2 miles that way. Ah, so yeah. so yeah, 0.9 miles from here to the lean to. We can go yeah. point, point 0.9 miles pretty quick and go eat there. Yeah, and then 1.1. Yeah, so we're probably gonna have to come back here from the shelter. You yeah, think? Okay. I, I I think so. We can we can relook at it again. We can relook at it again when we get to the shelter. But all right, we are at the trail junction and we're gonna. Head over to the shelter and grab a bike. We can go 2.9 in 20 minutes. Yeah, easily. definitely. I mean, that's three miles an hour is a yeah. walking pace. Yeah. Unless we encounter some crazy obstacles or something. Yeah. All right, let's do it. That's amazing. This is a pretty section of woods, too. If we're coming back this way. like we've made it to our lean-to right back this way we'll show you what it looks like this is the lean-to I meant to come to the first time I came out here <laughs> turns out it took two whole trips to get to the lean-to ah, so nice picnic table Not as wide as some of the new 
newer ones, but it's a nice lean-to. It seems to still be in great shape. Yeah. Well, I think it's time to stop and grab a bite. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Slauncher. I wasn't recording the whole time, of course. Grabbing a quick bite for lunch. Todd got these cool uh, cliff bars. It's like a, it's a, a Z bar, so it's. Looks like a turd. It looks like a turd. <laughs> <laughs> so. Found this on the trail. Oh yeah, and uh, he made it on the trail. Actually, is what happened. Um, but the, uh, it's it's a cliff bar, but smaller kid size. But it's perfect for a snack instead of getting a whole meal if you're not going out and cranking out a ton of calories. But my my lunch today is some spicy Thai chili. But Todd's got some something on the boil for ramen, and uh, I've got some tea going. Hopefully my stove keeps working because last time I went out, I melted this uh, little uh, ignition trigger, and it, I was worried that it wouldn't work, and my stove wasn't lasting. I had like plenty of propane but it wasn't going so we'll see how much longer this Walmart stove will last it's done me well for 20 bucks but it's lasted me about two and a half years I it's already been been worth the 20 bucks but I may end up with a new stove before the before the summer's out but we'll get back to you hack for you guys um, around my uh, what is this uh, GSI mug here um, every time I would have hot tea or any kind of hot drink in it I'd burn my lip because of the metal just absorbs all the heat so I I took a, a live strong bracelet because you know everybody has at least 15,000 of them laying around their house that they never wear um, and uh, put it around the rim and it's like a yeah, it helps you avoid burning your lips, so life hack for you. We just packed up lunch and uh, are getting our, getting our stuff ready to head back to the truck. We're not going to keep going to the lower vehicle. We're going to just head back to where we started. Uh, I need to be back at the house sooner. But I was thinking about this lean-to, and the last time I came out, I was thinking about doing an overnight here and uh, decided against it because it's against the park rules to uh, camp outside of the lean-to you have to be camped in the lean-to now i don't know if you would actually uh, if somebody would come in and check on you but you want to be following the rules you want to follow the now, rules they will now because i posted on facebook yeah or on youtube uh but that's a nice spot you could get a good number of people sitting here on the on the benches and stuff but there's not a ton of space it's a pretty small lean-to so if you are coming through uh be sure to stay in the lean-to but it's a it's a good lean-to it'll keep you dry um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. So I just wanted to touch base one last time with you guys. It's been a really nice hike today. Todd's, Todd survived too. <laughs> uh, and, uh, we're just here at the power lines on our way back to the truck. And, uh, I thought I'd just sign off. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe down below so that you catch each video when they come around. And if you're on your mobile phone, click the little bell icon so that you get notifications when my videos show up. Um, and uh, share it with your friends. We'll uh, see you next time. Roving Giant signing out.